Well, we had a Super Bowl and now we have a new champion. And just like all the other championship teams and all the other sports, their city's going to throw them a big parade and everybody's going to come out and they're going to celebrate and they're going to be welcoming the champions home. And just like Christ when he entered Jerusalem, riding on the back of a donkey, people laying palms down on the road in front of him. They were waving the palms at him and they're cheering him on. He was their champion. But a few days later, they betrayed him. They crucified him. They turned on him. That's how it is in life. And I want to talk about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. You know, Peter once asked Jesus, he goes, Lord, how many times should I forgive somebody? Seven times? And Christ said, oh no, man. He goes, you should forgive them 70 times seven. In other words, you, you forgive them unconditionally. You always forgive them. Just as Christ always forgives us. It's what he wanted Peter to do to anybody that turned on him. And that's how he reacted to the people that turned on him when he was entering Jerusalem. He not only forgave them, he died to forgive them. He died on the cross to forgive them of their sins, not just turning on him, but welcoming them into a new life everlasting with him. You know, Christ had said once before, blessed are the peacemakers. You know, they will be called the sons of God. That's what he expects from us. And in 1 Samuel 18, I think about how Saul was trying to kill David, you know, threw that javelin at him while he was playing the harp, trying to soothe him. His, his, his spirits were just driving him crazy, and David's playing his harp, and he takes that javelin, boom, he swings it at him, flings that baby, and David got out. But David never came back, never retaliated. He always forgave him. He always said, this is, this is God's chosen. I'm not going to, I'm not going to retaliate. He goes, this is in God's hands. I forgive him. And that's what God wants us to do. That's what Christ instructs us to do. Forgive 70 times seven. Continue to love one another. That's what he wants from us. And that's what he did too for those people that turned on him. So just like the championship teams that are going to be riding, a team that's going to be riding in the parade and the ones that have ridden in the parades before, they're up right now. But sometime they're not going to do the same thing. Somebody's going to miss that last second shot for the basket or they're going to strike out at the worst time or they're going to fumble the ball or drop the pass. And people are going to turn against them. Oh, we don't. What happened to these guys? You know, trade them. We don't need them anymore. It happens. One day you're up, the next day you're down. And that's what happens in life. But Christ tells us to forgive, love one another. And that's what he expects from us too. So I hope you'll take that today, and you'll do that too. I look forward to seeing you again for another Morning Cup of Inspiration. God bless everyone, and have a wonderful day.